to say that Kim Kardashian has a lot on her plate these days would be putting it very, very mildly. And on top of all of that, Kim is trying to become a lawyer. Yes, despite the fact that her career has made her a member of the ultra-exclusive 10-figure net worth club, Kim isn't resting on her laurels. But this time, she's focused less on making herself and her family rich and more on making the world a better place. The experience inspired her to take a greater interest in our nation's widely criticized criminal justice system. Eventually, she decided to take advantage of a loophole in California state law that allows aspiring lawyers to take the bar exam after a four-year internship with a law firm, as opposed to the usual three years of law school. Unfortunately, it seems Kim has suffered a major setback in her fledgling legal career. So you guys, I did not pass the baby bar, Kim tells her sisters. In a confessional segment, she elaborates on what exactly that means, if you are doing law school the way I'm doing it, it is a four-year program instead of your typical three-year program, Kim says. And after year one, you have to take the baby bar. This would actually harder, I hear, than the official bar. Despite the difficulty of the exam, Kim is extremely tough on herself for not passing it on her first try. I am a failure, she tells her sisters. I spent six weeks straight, 10 to 12 hours a day, studying and it was so important for me to take this. And to not pass gets your spirit down and just makes you want to give up. Fortunately, Courtney and Chloe are there to remind Kim that their late father, famed attorney Robert Kardashian, would commend her efforts, regardless of the outcome. I feel like dad would be really proud of you regardless, just the fact that you're pursuing this, Courtney says. I think it's highly respectable what you're doing, Chloe agrees. I think the time that you get taken away from your family, your kids. That's what pisses me off, Kim interjects. The fact that I spend all that time away from my kids, like I can't do it again. I don't have time. To do the next test is in November. And I'm filming the ending of our show, which will be so emotional, she continues. I have every birthday under the sun, you know, it's my birthday my 14th. I plan this whole day, trip, and it's too late to cancel. And if I fail again, it's like, what's the point? The episode was filmed in October of 2020, and Courtney points out that Kim will be eligible to take the test again in June of 2021. I don't want to wait another year to go by for school, Kim responds. I feel like I just got to the end where I almost knew everything. I think if you take that year off, you're going to forget about it, Chloe points out by way of encouraging Kim to keep up her studies. I don't know, I really need to think about it, Kim tearfully replies. The worst part of all of this is that it genuinely seems like Kim's heart is in the right place, and we believe that she wants to get this degree so that she can help make the world a better place. I think she's going to be an unbelievable attorney. She's already I think one of the best advocates that we have in criminal justice, Jones said during a recent interview with Ellen DeGeneres. So will Kim take the test again next month? Well, we're sure she'll keep her decision a secret until after the results are in. But something tells us she'll have some positive news to report in the next few weeks.